Hey guys, Wobble Wobble Wobble, this is Downtown Adrian J with a kick in the house in London Town. How are you going out there? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Adrian J Online. And welcome to J's Computers. That's my section where I deal with computers, hardware and all that, all that kind of good stuff. This is a boxing, as you probably know if you're looking down there on a printer that I've just bought. And I'm uh, going to bring it, bring it up. We're going to do an unboxing here because I have no space to do anything anywhere else. So we're going to do it on my bed. As um, also, I should say that the last video I did, a video unboxing on a printer, which I got for my daughter, was very, uh, was very successful and got a lot of views and got a lot of people asking questions. So maybe this is the kind of thing that you guys want to see in here. So um, I'm upgrading my printer or changing my printer. My previous printer, which was an HP, I've decided to get another HP. Um, Printer has lasted a long time. I bought it initially about 10 years ago when I landed in Canada and it's worked fine. Um, the only thing that's happened in the last year, I think, uh, last year, two years, it started printing like double. And I've tried everything I could think of to try and fix it. It doesn't print double all the time. And now it's starting to make a noise. So that's a problem. Um, and as I've uh, gone incorporated, uh, I can write these off for tax purposes. So I need a printer for my business. So hence I'm going out and put a printer. So I'll, so on this review, I'm going to post it online a few places, uh, linking back to here. I bought the printer from Staples. I think this to Staples. I have to check their... Um, their uh, the terms and conditions when you post some printers. Sometimes they're posting stuff. Sometimes they don't like you to post uh, certain things. It has to be a pure product review. You can't talk about service. You can't talk about uh, price or anything. And and uh, before I go any further, the service in the place was fantastic, and the price was hit my price point. So I've got no problem with it. So I will tell you about it later on in the video. Um, if they don't like me doing that, I'll probably kind of blurb it out. Um, or maybe just put it in the description or something like that. So come over to my printer and I'm going to show you what it's doing. It works but it's doing this and the problem I'm, I'm find, going to find is one day I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to be in an emergency to print something and I won't be able to print it. So let's go. So I've powered it on and I'm hoping it's going to make the noise. Yeah, there you go. Can you hear that noise? That ticka 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 noise. Shouldn't make that ticka 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 noise. There you go. You hear it again? Ticka ticka ticka. I have no, what I, no idea what that is. I've opened it up. I've had a little play around with it. Once it settles down, it will then let you print. But uh, if it's late at night, you don't want that. And also don't want it to suddenly break. I'm going to bring the box up and we're going to do a full unboxing. I have no idea if it's going to work straight out of the box, what issues we're going to have. You're going to see it at the same time as me. So don't move your dial and stay in tune. So guys, here we are uh, on my bed. So it's a nice place to work. Um, so here we are, the HP OfficeJet Pro 6978. Um, from Staples, uh, it's an all-in-one, so wireless print, fax, scan and copy, um, and it cost me $159 plus tax, which for me is uh, probably about as much as I want to spend uh, for a printer. The price point was good, I've got no issues with the price point, and also the um, uh, the, uh, the service at the place was One good thing on the, on the box, it, uh, it, it comes with a... Set up cartridge. There should be four cartridges here. Uh, 902. Uh, so, sorry. So, four cartridges blue, red, yellow, and black. And it gives you the number, model numbers, that's good. And you've got an Excel, which is uh, extra a run. Scan for printed details. It tells you basically everything you need to know. Let's have a look. So, uh, minimum system requirements, Windows Vista, where the hell have you been? Windows XP, uh, basically it, this will work with anything. Um, let's have a look what it says here. 
two-sided automatic document feeder, automatic side-in, ISO printing, Ethernet networking, auto wireless connect, scan to USB and email. Um, it's very well boxed. This isn't a, as you can see, no one's opened this up previously. Um, all very nicely done. I don't have any issues with this. There was only shown three in store. I think there was one on display, one boxed up, and there may have been another one there. So, very nice to start off with, to, to say. I did do some research on a couple of printers, and the research on this one came up pretty good, hence why I wanted to get it. So, let me get you on just, the stand. I just want to show you that I did actually pay for it. There you go. This is the receipt. I did actually pay for it. I didn't get a... I didn't get a kind of uh, wasn't a freebie it's um, it is what it is I don't uh, I don't get freebies yet if I do get any freebies I will obviously let you know um, sorry I'm just uh, trying to look for a knife to open this up sorry so uh, I've got my knife um, and I like to do an honest review I'll t definitely tell you if a product is crap or if the product is good. I think it, I, I owe that to you uh, as a viewer and this is why we do YouTube. So let's uh, let's start cutting into it with my... Uh... Oops. Let's get this here. Okay. So, let's see if you can see that. So, uh, here we have uh, a lead, mains lead, so that looks good. Get out there. Gets four cartridges. So, I can't remember my other cartridges, but there was two, three cartridges. There was, sorry, there was two cartridges. Uh, one color, one black and white. And now, at least this way, you can only replace whichever one you want. So, uh, that's good. So, this is all sealed up nicely. We have our instructions. We have another instructions. We have another instructions. <laughs> we have uh, something about ink. Another thing. And that there. And there you can see. The printer is in there, so let's. Uh, so the best way I found with uh, these things is to turn them upside down, and lift up. Very well packaged. Very well packaged. I have to say, I, I, I've got. I like it when things are packaged. It means there's there's care. You, they, these things get uh, get moved around, thrown around. So let's uh, get that over there. First impressions are very good. Um, I I like getting stuff which I've used before. I've never had any problems with the HP. The HP lasted me, as I said, ten years. So. Uh, you know, that's a good investment. If you're spending 150 200 dollars on a printer, and it's uh, that new new printer smell is very nice, very nice. I do like that. Untouched, a virgin printer, waiting to be defiled, bunny. Okay, so let's have a look. So. As you can see, oops, let's try and get you in a little bit more further. It's uh, very well protected. It's uh, as you would expect. Nice lots of stickers on there to protect things. I am always a fan of that. So let's start taking things off. Now I might actually split this up into two videos. Or I might do one long video, I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me whether you like to see a long one long video or one video split up into two or three things. Let's take this off. What does this say? Two month free trial. Save up to 50% on ink and never run out. Well, I'm not really too worried about that. So let's see here. We have another 
another one here. I'm I'm very much a proponent of things being good insofar as uh, nicely packed. I don't want to see scratches. I don't want to see. I want to see it properly stacked because this is a mechanical item. So I do like that. They're taken care, and I do like that. Uh, I can't remember with my other printer how that was. Let's lift this up. Okay. So there we go. Very nice. If you can see there, very nice. This feeder, document feeder. So close that. Let's uh, thingy here. This is the uh, cartridge. I think we need to pull this out. Oh. Ah. Making a bit of a pig's ear off this. I don't know how we pull this one out. Oh, something here. Ah, there we go. So, oops, I don't know if you can see here. In there, it's got like this the paper feed thingy. I don't think this comes out. It doesn't come out. It might do come out. I'll have to check the instructions. But that's where you put the paper in. You can see at the bottom there. Oops, maybe you can't see the bottom there, sorry. It's the bottom there. At the front, At the front here, let's just uh, zoom you out. The front here, I don't know if you can see, you've got a power button, you've got a USB port here. The front is obviously the top, we can do a top load. I think the, the print comes out there, or do you push it in there? I don't know. That's a paper feeder, I think. It's a paper feeder, sorry. The side here. There's nothing on there, nothing on there, and if we look at the back, there we go, so, so we've got the power cable, and on this side here, Okay, so this is the USB connector. I've already got an old USB connector. Interesting, they're using the older style USB. -C, I think this is called USB B a cable, um, which is fine. It also has an Ethernet, so you can connect this to a network, which is fine. And this one here is for the fax. I definitely wanted fax because I've really found having fax um, useful and important even in these days with uh, telecommunications. So do you know what I'm going to do? Um, shall I do separate parts? I don't know. But anyway, that's it unboxed. It's, uh, it looks really good. Uh, I have no, no problems with this. It looks nice. It's a nice looking piece of kit, don't you think? Um, but it looks nice. I don't know. I, yeah, we're going obviously going to test check it out. So just to give you the exact code, it's the HP OfficeJet Pro 6978 print, fax, scan, web, copy and web. And it's going to go on my uh, on my, my tab there. So um, I'm going to come back to you in a minute. I just want to read through some of these instructions. And then I'm going to show you how we load paper up, connect it up, do some test prints and away we go. All right, so don't move your dial. Come back in a sec.